This use a plane is brought to you by Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space. Circle again, I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras theorem works. Understand? Even headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music, and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be. Upgrade to Lime! Welcome to the Bobby Day for the Afternoon Update. It's Monday, February 16, 2015. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Good afternoon. Top in the news, the head of the Barbados Workers' Union is calling on the government not to impose new taxes in its upcoming budget. Finance Minister Chris Sinclair is expected to deliver the budgetary proposals in April amid continuing economic challenges. Addressing the BWU's midterm meeting yesterday, General Secretary Tony Moore maintained that the financial package must be practical, saying that it could not only be driven by the country's economic situation. Especially in light of the stagnated wages in a number of areas, as I said, and loss of jobs at the low and middle income levels, householders cannot be brought further to their knees with the imposition of more taxes and greater financial burden. The upcoming budget must not impose additional risks on families and citizens forcing them in positions, or should I say forcing us in positions from which we cannot recover. So yes, the budget must be practical, but practicality must be driven not only by economic considerations, but also by what is at stake on the social side. BW General Secretary Tony Moore. In other news, attorney at law Ralph Fawn slams government's plans to establish a new company to replace the collapse Clico. The new company is expected to assume all the functions of the former financial institution. But Thorne told a meeting of the Barbados Labour Party Christchurch South and West Central branches that it would take much more funds to replace a company that once managed over $400 million. Everybody in Barbados knew that an insurance company that's trading in billions of dollars over the course of a year cannot be run with $30 million. It cannot pass with $30 million as you pay staff and pay premiums every month or basic farmers pay benefits every month. $30 million cannot take you past a few months. And Mr. Patrick Coffin must have laughed or missed his fits of anger when he heard that proposal. It is a trick. It is coming from the Ministry of Finance. And I say to you that the reason why this minister was appointed was to protect an escape. Parents of students attending the Parkinson Memorial and Alma Parry Secondary Schools are seeking a meeting with the Ministry of Education to discuss the situation at the two institutions. President of the Barbados National Council of Parent Teacher Associations, Rhonda Blackman, revealed that a letter will be sent to the ministry today on the matter following emergency talks with affected parents. Teachers who staged four-day strike action last week over issues of safety and management styles of their principals were expected to be back in the classroom today. Speaking specifically on the issues facing the Pine Institution, Blackman made it clear that the blame must not be placed squarely on the shoulders of Principal Jeff Brooms. So therefore, if you're going to talk about supervision of this school, you cannot only bash the principal. You have to bash the principal and his... I can't hear you. You have to bash the principal and his management team. And you know what is clear in the media out here for us parents? Is that his management team is not supporting him. Huh? His management team is not supporting him. So if you talk about supervision, if you talk about disruptive behavior, if you talk about this knives and, I nearly said guns, but I didn't hear about the guns. If you hear about knives and scissors and nails and everything, realistically speaking, 
Teachers are supposed to help with supervision. Choose your heroes and heroines and choose them well. This was the advice given by Sir Henry Fraser to students of the Lodge School at a special assembly this morning. Sir Henry, a heritage historian and academic, was honored by his alma mater this morning along with educator Mark Fingal. Sir Henry told the students that having heroes was a key part of life. Choose your heroes well and emulate them. And I hope many of you will, like my friend, Dr. Connell, my most brilliant student, has just told you, join us in the professions, in medicine, in the university, as leaders, as entrepreneurs, as teachers, because the greatest profession in the world, of course, is teaching. The annual Holton Festival is here again, and the festival, now in its 39th year, was officially opened yesterday at Massey Sunset Crest Car Park by reigning queen of the festival, Zane Padmore. The Holton Festival will run throughout the week, and the curtains come down with the queen of the festival pageant on Sunday at the Frederick Smith Secondary School. There's regional and international news after this short break. To news from the ICC World Cup, Ireland drowned two-time champions West Indies by four wickets in Nelson today. Chasing 3.05 to win at the Saxon Oval, the Irish coasted home with Paul Sterling making 92, Ed Joyce 84 and Neil O'Brien not out on 79. The West Indies made a 3.04 for seven after being sent into bat in the Pool B fixture. Lindale Simmons made 102 and Darren Sammy posted 89. To news from the region, and a 16-year-old student in Jamaica could be facing a murder charge after one of his schoolmates died at hospital over the weekend from a stab wound. According to police, the two students had a dispute in the town of Mandeville on Friday when the incident occurred. The victim died on Saturday from his injuries. Superintendent of the Manchester Police Division, Melvin, Melvin Brown, said that the police will be helping to provide the two families with counseling support. And finally, on the international front, Egypt strikes back, bombing Islamic State targets in Libya hours after the terrorist group published a video showing the apparent beheadings of 21 Egyptian Christians. The Egyptian president today described ISIS as inhumane criminal killers as he declared a seven days of national mourning. The country has vowed to fight back. More in this report from the BBC. The um, Egyptian army issued a statement saying that it has launched early in the morning successive air strikes targeting camps and training sites of ISIS in Libya. Actually, this sends a very strong message to the public here in Egypt because there is an outrage. There, is, there are calls for the government to act strongly and swiftly. So here we are. The army is saying that we are not going to keep quiet. We are going to retaliate. That's the Barbados Today Afternoon Update, but you can join us again this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on our Zoomy Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 Online TV as well as a Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Frenella Wedderburn to have a wonderful day. This news update is brought to you by... Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space. Circle again, I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras' theorem works. Understand? 
even Headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be.